this time by one more lap to go for Dash and Davis Fisher. There's Bronson in second, Carver third, Jake Johnson fourth. There's Briar Bowman's on the back tire of Jake through turns one and two. They've been motor, motocross riding and training together. Briar and Jake going at it for that fourth spot. Going in turn three, they're side by side. But this one, ladies and gentlemen, it is all the 67. Dash and Davis Fisher taking the win. Oh, he loops it over backwards. Going into turn number one, watch out. Wow, Fisher. On his feet, running after his motorcycle. Now he falls down, so Fisher, the adrenaline is flowing. Wow, so he loops it over backwards after taking the checkered flag. Davis Fisher loops it after he crosses the finish line. Somehow everybody misses him, but that is adrenaline, and that bike looks like it has seen better days. So Fisher goes over backwards. A tough break for Davis Fisher. Pulling the front wheel, winning this one. He earned the victory. We'll see if we can take a look at the replay, but Fisher takes the win, and now he's got a lot of work to do. Hopefully he can get on a backup motorcycle. I'm not sure. We'll check on how the rules are going to unfold. Fisher's very disappointed. He's going back to the pit area. Good news is he's all right. That bike still has to go through tech also, so uh, we know that's got to happen. But Davis Fisher taking the win. Bronson Bauman is second. Jeffrey Carver is third. The five of Jake Johnson, fourth. Briar Bauman, fifth. Robbie Pearson is sixth. Jeremy Higgins is seventh. Eighth is the 387 of Mick Kirkness. And ninth sneaking into the main event is Vandercoy right there. So Vandercoy gets in the main event. I believe we're going to take a look at the replay, ladies and gentlemen. The good news is Davis Fisher wins semifinal number two. And now let's watch the bad news. Here it comes on the back wheel. Up, 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 and up over just as he goes by the camera on that speed shot right there. So a tough break for Fisher. Here's another look at it. Pulling the back wheel. Pulling, pulling, pulling. And it keeps on going. The back tire was off the ground. Oh my gosh. And then he's along for the ride. And the good thing was that bike did not hit him. The bike's doing dances and circles on the track. And you can see Davis Fisher along for the ride right there. Once again, that's why they wear the best safety equipment that we have. Here's one more look at it. Look at this. On the back wheel, on the back wheel, all the way past the safety zone. And we'll take it one more look at it at full speed. Here it comes, off of four, up and over. And then that bike just goes for one heck of a ride. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, on the front straightaway, the pit area is open. It's not going to be open for very long, but if you want to go to the pits afterwards, you can do so also. But the pits are open right now just for a little bit. The open paddock area won't last very long. We're going to get back to the racing action in just as fast as we can. But right now the pits are open at about 8.45. I'm going to start kicking you out, so you got about 15 or 20 minutes. We're going to try to be racing again at 9.05. So once again, if you want to go on the pitch, you can do so now. If you want to wait until after the races, you're more than welcome to wait. So